How's it going guys, Jay Ray here. Quick little unboxing and uh, initial setup of the LG G Watch Style. This thing has Android 2.0 and I've been waiting to get my hands on this so we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. Starting with the box, it's got a nice little presentation. Nothing fancy. This is, this and the LG Watch um, Sport are the only two watches at the moment that have Android 2.0. So existing watches should be getting the update soon, I think. So let's uh, get to it and go ahead and unbox it. I'm waiting to get my hands on this, so it should be nice to see what Android 2.0 is all about. And then hopefully soon my Fossil Q founder should be getting the update as well. Alright, so here we go. Regular charging brick the usual books nothing I'm gonna look at and this should be the puck All right and I believe this is magnetized I don't know yet I will make sure to include that in the re review of this but looks okay All right now the watch meat and potatoes if I can get it out so it's got a leather band already on it and these are the little I forget what they call this but it's a quick release I think this is an 18 millimeter band I believe as opposed to my fossil Q founder right here it has a 22 millimeter band on it so Just for size wise, <clears throat> that's what we're looking at. This is a 46 millimeter bezel, I want to say. And I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I will say that in the review. So let's take all the stickers off. And then we'll go through the initial setup. Okay, so it looks like we have everything off except, okay, so you have to take the bands off to get the rest of this, these stickers off. If you can get them off at all. There we go. Now, I'm a lefty, and it's my understanding that this watch will flip orientations. So I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the bands up so that when it sits on my wrist, the spinning dial right here will be to where I can use it with my my left hand. All right, so let's start it up. We'll see if it does flip orientation. Looks like startup's taking quite a bit. This is the Titan color, which matches my LG V20 phone, but I have a skin on it, so you can't really see it. But these are the same color. So it should match up well. Okay, there we go. Finally starting up here. This has an uh, OLED screen. So should have punchy colors and the deep blacks and the bright whites. So it should be a fairly better display than this, which is LCD. But also this has the flat tire at the bottom, like you can see where the ambient light sensor is this one doesn't have that <clears throat> and the idea behind it is they put some form of a sensor under inside the LCD to where they don't need a 
standalone sensor. And it looks like so far it doesn't change orientation, but let's see, let's get started here. English. All right, so now, get the phone going with Android Wear. Okay, hopefully I don't have to delete my fossil. There we go. LG, there we go. Here we go. Just checking for updates always takes forever. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll... I think I'm going to end it right here just because this update process takes forever. But um, what I will do is I will cover more on Android 2.0 in the review. So so this setup process is going to take a while. So like I said, I'll go through that in the review. Stand by for that. And I will see you guys in the next one.